Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to teach you how you can print a document, picture or any other files from your phone directly into your printer without using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, nor any magical tricks. Just through the good old printer USB cable. Let's get started. The first thing we need is, of course, the printer. Make sure that it is turned on. Second is we need to install an application to your phone. From your Play Store, search for Noco Print and install it. I'm using an Android phone here, and I don't own an iOS phone, so, I'm not sure if Noco Print is also available for Apple devices. For those who owns one, can you let me know in the comment section please? Alright. It's installed. Let's open the application. Now, let's open a document that we can print. Just click on the documents icon. Then select the file that you want to print. During the first time of opening a document, you will be prompted to download and install a docs rendering library and fonts. Tap continue to proceed. Once the library and fonts are installed, the document will be on a print preview mode. Since we can't plug the printer USB cable to the printer directly, we come to the third item that we'll need. It is an OTG, or on-the-go, adapter. I got this for 150 pesos from a nearby local gadget stand. Many of these are available online. I got a male USB Type-C to female USB Type-A adapter, since my phone has a USB Type-C port. Needless to say, if your phone has a micro USB port, you should get a micro USB to USB A adapter, and, of course, your phone should be OTG capable. Let's plug in the OTG adapter to the phone. Now the printer cable to the other end of the OTG adapter. Once plug in, the phone will automatically recognize the printer and prompt you to open NoCo print application to handle the printer. In my case, the Epson L120 printer. I'll select the always use NoCo print here and tap on OK. At first, you will see a message saying that there's no printer found and that's OK. Just tap on the refresh at the top right corner and it will now show the printer. When you select the printer from the list, it will prompt for an option for your printer driver. You can select it manually. Let's see here if there's an Epson L120 driver here. Nope. Since there's no matching driver for my printer, I'll go back and then select a generic driver. It will prompt a message when the printer driver is installed. There are some ads that could pop up like this one. You don't have to install it and it can just be ignored and closed. Now, we have a printer as you can see in the bottom part. Let's go through the printing options first. The one on the top of the printer that says letter and normal. Tapping on that will open the options menu. First one is copies. You can set how many copies you want to print. The next is the pages. You can print all, only the odd or even pages, a range of pages, and an option to reverse the order of printing. My document only has one page, so I'll stick with all. Next option is the multi-page printing where you can go up to nine pages printed in one paper. I won't change this. Then the double-sided printing options. And then the size and layout. You can set the scaling here, the paper orientation, the margins and print alignment or position. Lastly, we have the paper and printing options where you can select the paper size and output mode, which determine the printing quality. Alright. Now we're ready to print. Just tap on the print button from your phone, and, as expected, it will now start printing. A nice progress bar will prompt. Let's wait for the printing to finish, and then check if it has printed the exact document we are seeing in the phone screen. Let's compare the colors, font style and sizes, and such. The progress bar here is impressively accurate. There we go, the printing is done. So, comparing the printout to the document, I'd say it did an impressive job. Now, you don't need to transfer the files from your phone to your laptop anymore to print them, since you can do it directly from your phone. Alright I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Noba Air.